Well, today is a, is a very good day. It's a very good day because we finally have what we asked for. 10 days ago, we made a video called an open letter to the creators of Rocket League. And 10 days later, we have a little bit of a roadmap, baby. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm just so happy because I'm not saying our video. I'm, listen, I'm not taking credit. Actually, I was sort of shut down. I, I'm not taking credit. Uh, you know, I think it was the whole community. The whole community's been asking. Maybe they've been planning this roadmap. Maybe it just the timing was perfect. I'm not taking credit whatsoever. I'm just really excited that there's an actual thing. I rarely do videos like this where we talk about like, you know, the, 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 the roadmap and, and what they're announcing, but this is very important to me. And I think it would be cool to talk to you guys about it and open a little discussion about it and just chill and kick it. What's, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, I have missed you oh so much. Thank you. Thanks for clicking on the video and, and checking it out. So, first things first. How I think our video didn't really, I mean like maybe it gave a little attention to them. I think a couple people over there looked at it, but my boy Quantum, Quantum was like, although you may not admit it, this is on Twitter, I think you guys did watch John Sandman's video address to you. You're becoming more interactive with the community. Nice one, nice one, nice one, chat disabled. <laughs> Rocket League then responded back. Hi, GQ. We've had the roadmap plans in the works for a while. Damn it! And we're always working on addressing player ideas and concerns as best we can. Thanks. Either way, nice to have some updates. So, so they might have been working on this for a while. Maybe they're just, you know, maybe they're just saying that. Um, but no, like I said, I'm very excited for this. Uh, and I'll go over why. I, I've, I've scanned through this. I've not really do dove into it because I knew I wanted to do it in a video. Uh, so let's go over together. There's one thing on here that scares the living crap out of me. That honestly, I might not be excited for. Uh, and I, when I get there, I will show you what it is. You probably already know what I'm talking about. But uh, everybody with our new update, blah, 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 blah. Fast approaching, very exciting. We're testing out new update schedule which is all I think people were asking for. You see the game like Fortnite, that's every week is a new update, which is exciting, which is cool. So getting an update every month, every January, February, March, where it's just fixing bugs or adding new things or adding new, that's huge. A roadmap is like very important. For anyone who doesn't know what a roadmap is, it's very, it's obvious to a lot of people. Uh, it's just a breakdown of when things are gonna be coming out. Like, hey, February, we're releasing this. March, we're releasing this. April, guess what's coming? This mother truck up. So they say in February, February content update. So it's gonna be, I think their bigger update. Uh, they're gonna update a lot of the content. Competitive season seven begins. Competitive season six rewards. Woohoo! Uh, sorry, still not a fan of them, but hey, it's free. I'm not gonna complain, okay? We can, we can complain, but like it is free, so. I'm very excited for my, the champion wheels are okay. They're pretty cool. New crate, which, pfft, you know, I love, I'm not, I'm not gonna get mad about that at all. New RLCS fan rewards, which is awesome. So what does that mean? Like, are they gonna take out all the ones that we've already had? Is it, I mean, it says new, so we're getting some new stuff. So that means the older RLCS rewards might go up in value, my friends, if you care about that. Um, I don't because I don't have any. <laughs> I might have a pair of Apex. I might. Uh, tournaments beta. I've been looking forward since they said this was coming out in November. That's what I'm scared of, right? I'm scared that like now they're saying, hey, we'll have this in April and then it doesn't come out for another two months past that. But they were like, well, that was on the roadmap. Where... So we'll see. I'm very excited to see how closely they follow this. Um, but the tournaments beta was talked about November, December. I was looking forward to making tournament episodes and hanging out with you guys and like challenging you just randomly like who can be the best in 2v2s grab your partner let's go we'll put like $50 steam card on the line something fun uh steam public beta for upcoming tournament feature so this is great this is all in february we're gonna get new crates new rewards competitive new season ranked uh it's a soft reset which is sort of a bummer to me a lot of people have been asking me that on Twitter, I think it's a bummer. I want a hard reset. I'm so tired of the people who are like, you're just getting carried. Although, I'll still play with the same people, Rob, Zach, and the homies. Um, so whatever, it would just be nice to start over and like be like, hey, 
Let's go from the beginning. Maybe I'll just start a, uh, what's it called on that? The Nintendo Switch. Maybe I'll just start a series on Nintendo Switch from the very bottom and just work my way up. Uh, oh, that controller though. <laughs> Uh, all right, but then March, so February's dope. February's looking good. March, new license, premium DLC. Cool, new car probably. Uh, maybe they'll team up with another movie, maybe Jumanji. You know, they're gonna have like a new, like a uh, crazy, like crazy zebra car or something. You know, Jumanji cars. The Rock Johnson, Dwayne Rock Johnson car. So hopefully they team up with something cool. Uh, spring event tournaments. Wait. Oh, the beta is in February. The actual tournaments is out in March. So they're testing it out. So unfortunately for Xbox, PS4, I'm sure the beta won't be on there. Yeah, yeah, Steam public beta. So it's on Steam. So bummer for you guys, but March, it will roll out. So here's where it gets weird. Spring, March, April, no, that's fine. Uh, spring feature update, tournaments, it's like a March or April, you never know. Uh, play against other players in bracketed single elimination tournaments, awesome. Quality of life updates. I don't wanna scare any of you, but I'm a little scared. I even reached out to them. Uh, they did respond, but they weren't sure exactly. Um, so, item stacking. Does that ring any bells? I mean, it's great. It's great for organization. That's great. Greater, better item filtering, all that, that's great. But item stacking would completely, possibly ruin blind trading. Um, I mean, because think of it right now, everything's laid out and it's the, you know, we could come up with something else, uh, but that, it scared me a little. I mean, obviously, some things are meant to die and move on, but it would be great, Rocket League, if you could turn this on or off. I know it's a bitch, I know I'm just one guy uh, and you know, a community with some some people who really enjoy it. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, for me, the YouTuber, no. I don't, if you do that, we'll work through it. We'll find the new game to play. We've already, you know, created something new, the, the pink slips game. Um, so, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, item stacking, scares me, scares me though. So, when I did ask uh, Devin about it, he really couldn't talk about it much, but he said, um, he doesn't know if there will be a way to turn it on or off, but it, it, you know, items will stack exactly what it says there. So we'll see, we'll see. Better item filtering, awesome searching and sorting. Love it, sounds great. Equip to blue, orange team or painted car bodies. Finally, finally, finally. Now octanes that are red, uh, crimson, can, you know, can go on the right color. You can do things for different colored sides, orange and blue. You can finally make your perfect blue car and not have the, uh, you know, the blue octane ruin the orange side. That's so sick. I've been waiting for that for a while. So I think that's huge. Um, new and expanded options. Packet, send, receive, okay, bandwidth limits. Team quick chat only. Which, are they disabling like all quick chat? Maybe you could just set it. Maybe you could just set it to have team only. So you don't have to deal with like anyone being like, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. Which I know some of you who are watching love doing that. Uh, disable one minute remaining, et cetera, messages. That's cool. Connection, quality info, see notifications for packet loss. All that good stuff will help with the community better di differentiate survey issues and connection problems. So this is great. I mean, this is stuff that a lot of people have issues with and they want better. Um, Switch performance and visual quality updates. So for the Switch, Nintendo Switch, you're getting hooked up. Performance mode's going up, quality mode, all that good stuff. So that's great, I mean this is, well, now we know January, so it's what? January 31st, February, March, April. We have an idea, we got tournaments, new crate coming out, new season. I feel like, like for the community, like isn't that exciting? A little more? That's something for us. Now we're working with something. Now we're like, okay, cool. Is that like, we, we don't need to know everything you're bringing out, but like now I feel like, now there's communication. Oh, they listened to us on that. They didn't listen to us on that. They listened to us on this. Oh, cool. Now we can talk about it on Reddit and we can do our thing. Like we can just chat about it. I think that's important for communities. Um, April, just, yeah, whatever. April and beyond, once we're past the tournament's release, we'll begin taking, talking more about our roadmap for the summer and beyond with posts like these every few months. Holy shit, Rocket League. Every three months, ish. That's four times a year. Hey, that's a start. That is a huge start. We are getting a breakdown for every month what they're gonna be improving on, what they're gonna be working on, what the new things that they'll be rolling out on. Awesome. Cross-platform parties. 
is going to be coming out in 2018, which is a big, you know, we'll see though. Party up and match make with players from uh, other participating platforms. That's awesome. Now, I wonder if that will open up trading. I highly doubt it, but that would mess the whole markets up. But I mean, that would be pretty cool. What if I could like, for our Steam giveaways that we do, our PC giveaways mostly, actually a lot of them have been PC, PS4, whatever. But wouldn't it be nice to like be able to hook up someone from Xbox or PS4? Who knows? Progression updates. Make XP relevant again. Great. No one cares about that. Uh, you know, I'm level 69. That's pretty, that's, that's funny, but that's the funniest. That's the only, yeah. Earn decryptors through play. Hey, for all the homies who are like, dude, John the sellout, always buying keys. Screw that lifestyle. I want to work for it. There you go. You got it. You can earn decryptors through play very soon. Coming out in the next few months. Uh, new arenas, which is vague, but hey, at least they're new features. Dope. Um, you know, I wish this was like new, new, yeah, new features could be like new game modes and stuff. I wish it said new game modes. You know what I mean? New arenas, new banners, titles, other rewards. Xbox One X. We are now targeting Xbox One X with the uh, with support for like 2018. So, like I said, uh, this is great. This is this is all we are asking for, man. And Woolman's over at uh, Psionics. I, I don't think it was because of us. Like I said, I think the timing of our video for it with uh, Llama and Pixel, I think it was just a timing thing, like, like I said. But hey, honestly, I'm excited. A little scared about the item stacking. But like I said, I will always, as long as I know the game that I'm playing is, is putting a little work in and like cares, I will care. And I will figure out ways around it. And, you know, I still love Rocket League. I'm not bored of it yet. <laughs> I'm not bored of this game. I don't know how. I really don't. Uh, the only other game I've played as much as I played Rocket League ever in my life was Arma 3. And that is how I started my streaming career. Like, was like with Arma 3. So, uh, good times. I love you guys very much. I would love to hear your input on anything. Anything we talked about. I know you've probably seen a bunch of videos on this. And like I said, I usually leave it to the homies uh, to make videos on this. But I felt like this is very important because we made an open letter to them asking for a roadmap like this. And they delivered. So, good shit. Good shit. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. Amazing night. Another video out tonight. All weekend. I'm going crazy. I've, I've been doing two videos like nuts. So I'll see you with another video tonight. It'll probably be a virtual reality video, VR video. So check it out and uh, peace out. Much love. Later.